down. I don't want God to have to humble me now, but I want to humble myself. How do I do that? By doing, living the word of God. This word getting down on the inside will produce the nature of Jesus Christ if we walk in it. This is the real thing. I've heard, all, I've heard things just like you have out here. But thank God 32 years ago, September the 13th, 32 years ago, God gave me the Holy Ghost. God began to open my eyes up to this people. That same year, He gave me a dream. And He showed me on the, in that dream that I was on a bus. And outside the bus, there was a lot of destruction going on. But the Lord was telling me, stay on the bus. Stay with God's people. You'll be protected. Lord, I'll be with you. Thank God in these 32 years he's been with me. Have I been through some things? Sure, we've all been through some things. But he's been with us, hasn't he? Thank God. And so I want to keep holding to his unchanging hand here tonight. Thank God I want to hold on to this ministry. I want to hold on to what they're saying. I want to embrace the truth. Hallelujah. And so it just excites me to feel what I feel down inside. Has God been dealing with you? Is God dealing with you right now? Is God been I say God's been dealing with every one of us. He's been dealing with me. He said, dedicate yourself more. Consecrate yourself more. Give up more. If you give up more, he'll give you more. Praise God. And as we do, as God begins to illuminate our minds and he begins to change our way of thinking, and we begin to mortify the deeds of the body. He said, if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Thank God. And we're trying to mortify. What does it mean to mortify? It means to destroy it, cut it off. He said to lay the ax to the root of the tree. He's taking the word of God. This is the ax. He's laying it to the root of our fallen nature. Thank God. That's in Adam, isn't it? He's taking the word of God, the truth of God's word, and he's laying the ax to the root of the tree, and he's cutting it out. Praise God, but he's replacing with something better. He's replacing it with the mind of Jesus Christ right here. Glory, eat him a high. He's transforming our mind. Hallelujah. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I was thinking on the way up here, we have to renew our mind every day. We can't say, well, today I'm going to renew it, but tomorrow I'm going to throw it aside. We've got to renew it every day. We've got to get down in the Word of God every day. We've got to allow the Word of God to begin to change us. Hallelujah. He wants to change us if we allow Him. Lord, I want the Word of God to change my mind. I want it to face the way that I think. Oh, glory, and if we'll do that. Oh, it's going to change us into what he wants us to be. I just appreciate him tonight. I praise his holy name. I praise his holy name. He said to worship him in the beauty of holiness. You know, why is it a beauty? It is to God because it's a change from the old nature into the new nature. That's a beauty. We're trying to be like him. Be therefore perfect. Even as your Father in heaven is perfect. What does that mean? It means to grow up in God. Out of a higher. Put aside Adam and grow up in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. This is the real thing. When David saw that ark coming up the road, he began to leap and jump and dance. Why did he do it? His wife ridiculed him, didn't he? belittled him for what he was doing because he loved God. David loved God, didn't he? Didn't even have the Holy Ghost, but he was willing to dance for the Lord. Praise God. It's something about when the Spirit gets in these feet. When the, when the Spirit gets in these feet, hallelujah, it begins to want to move. I'm 56 years old now, and I ain't making that no excuse because when God touches your feet, and he tells you to move. He wants you to move. Praise God. There's 
there's lots of ways we can worship the Lord. We can worship Him. I thought, let me just read this. How can we praise the Lord? How can we do it? We've come into the house. This is a house of praise tonight. This is a house of worship tonight. Praise God. I got to read this. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 150. Praise God in his sanctuary. Are we in his sanctuary tonight? Let's praise him. Praise God. Praise him in the firmament, in the firmament of his power. Does God got power? Sure he does. We've got to get in him though. Praise him. Praise him for his mighty acts. Has he done any mighty acts for you? The children of Israel, they watched him roll back the Red Sea, didn't they? And they walked across grass. Shod. Was that a mighty act? When God gave the Holy Ghost, was that a mighty act? Yes. God has touched us all, hadn't he? Glory. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Is He great? Yes, somebody said He's greatly to be praised. He said if we don't praise Him, the rocks will cry out and praise Him. He'll raise them up. Glory. We've got a lot. We don't want to take it for granted. But with humility and thankfulness. Oh God, I appreciate every nugget you've given me. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a timbrel and dance. You know, when Miriam and those women back there, when they saw that uh, Pharaoh and his army were destroyed in the Red Sea, there was a victory in the camp, wasn't there? There was a praise in the camp, wasn't there? And Miriam and those women began to dance and play the timbrel, didn't they? Praise God. They were happy. They were joyful. Glory. Are you, do you have joy reigning? You know that's a fruit of the Spirit. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Don't let him steal your joy, but let God work. Hallelujah. He wants to work. Praise God. Have we all been there? Sure we have. We played the pity party. Has anybody not played a pity party? And what, did you feel any better when you got through? No. No. But when I came back in fellowship with God, and I came into the sanctuary, and then I understood why I was going through what I was going through, then I began to dance for the Lord. Then I begin to praise his name. He's real. Oh, he's real. He's the real thing. Praise Coke ain't the real thing. It's Jesus. They got too many artificial stuff in there. I found the real thing. This is organic. This is real. It ain't got no poison or pollution in it. No GMO. Thank God. Woo, this guy, there's all kinds of modified. They've they refined it all out here. There ain't no ingredient, no nutrients left in it. But I'm going to tell you why. This is the unadulterated word of God. This is the real thing. This is a heap of corn. We've got heaps of corn around here. And this ministry are heaping it out as much as we can stand. Praise Him with the timbre and death. Praise Him with stringed in with instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God. Praise His name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. He wants us to praise Him. And if we'll continue to praise Him, we can't help but be thankful and grateful for what God is doing in your life, in my life. We owe it to Him. He's the Creator. Hallelujah. And He created all of us, didn't He? In His likeness and in His image. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be a part of what God is doing. This is the real thing. Hallelujah. You need something tonight? Praise God and let God have his way in your life. The old enemy, the old mind, whatever you want to call him, 
your adversary, the devil, said, goeth about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He wants to devour, but you can't, if you don't give him place, he can't devour you. He can't uh, devour you. He said, draw nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh to you. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. You want him to flee from you? Just don't start thinking about those negative things. Praise God, and he'll have his way in your life. Unloose me, somebody. Lord, I feel like I wear his glass. Lord. Praise God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on the way. Lift your giving glory up. Let the battle steal your praise. God's children were in bondage in the living desert sand. When Moses heard the voice of God, he said, lift your up your hands. And fear weak, tired, and weary, two men stood by his side. And they won the victory that day with plans toward the sky. Don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, the victory's on its way. We lift hands and give him glory, don't let the battle steal your praise. You're facing, tried, and tested, never been before. Satan says you are defeated and you can't fight anymore. But lift your hand and listen, and heard the defense say, you can't go down in battle when your hands go up in praise. So don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah 
no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on its way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Don't let the battle steal your praise. God's children were in battle in the burning desert sand. When Moses heard the voice of God, he said, lift up on your hands. So though he's tired and weary, two men stood by his side. And they won the victory that day with their hands toward the sky. So don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on its way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Don't let the battle steal your praise. Oh, don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. And I know the battle's raging, but victory's on its way. Don't let the battle steal your praise. Oh, your faith's been tried and tested like it's never been before. Satan says you are defeated and you can't fight anymore. But lift your hands and listen. I heard the captain say, you don't go down in battle when your hands go up in praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on its way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Don't let the battle steal your praise. Oh, don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good to you. And you can still shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on its way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Don't let the battle steal your praise. So don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. Pray. Your faith's been tried and tested like it's never been before. Satan says you are defeated and you can't fight anymore. But lift your hands and listen. I heard the captain say, You can't go down in battle when your hands go up in praise. So don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good. Still shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on its way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Don't let the battle steal your praise. So don't let the battle steal your praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on the way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Don't let the battle steal your praise. Don't let the battle steal your praise.
praise. God has been so good to you. You can still shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on the way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Let the battle steal your praise. Shout hallelujah, no matter what you're going through. I know the battle's raging, but victory's on its way. Lift your hands and give him glory. Don't let the battle steal your I'll jump up before Brother Scott gets up. <laughs> it is all good to be here. Not just to be an orange, it's good to be here. But it's good to be with God's people. This is where my heart's desire is, is to be with God's people. To hear the words that can change our nature to become just like Him. I have a hope in my heart to one day to be able to live and to reign with Christ through the thousand years. But I know there's a qualification I have to meet to do that. I know there's a change that's got to be taken place in my life and a will that I've got to get rid of of mine and to take on his will, to do what he would have me to do. So I certainly appreciate being here. I appreciate the message of this day, of this hour, of this body of this people. There's a message that you can, you know, I've been to a lot of meetings in my lifetime. And I'm, when I was young, you could ask me, how was the meeting? And it depended on how big the shout was, how many people received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and that was the way that we gauged how good a meeting was. But as I've grown older, I realized the, the greatest meetings are the ones that we can leave with the change that takes place in our life. I'd like to leave this meeting with something that would cause me to make a change. That would cause me to leave here a different way. I think they said at the last meeting I was in that I could come in one door, but I've got to go out another. I'd like to be able to go a different way than the way that I came. I'd like to be able to become a little more like him to change my life, that I could be able to be with him one day. That's my desire. So one day to be with the Lord. But I appreciate all that God is doing. I, I Like I said, I appreciate this body of people. Uh, I've, I've been to a lot of meetings in my lifetime, and uh, there's some meetings you go away from, and you're like, well, you know, it's, it was a good meeting. You know, it, 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 was, it was all right. There were some good things that was said. But brethren, I've been leaving these meetings thinking there's a change I've got to make. There's something that needs to happen in my life. And I go home with my soul fed. I go home with something to begin to chew on. 
something to begin to uh, think about, something to change my life. And that's the reason I, I've got to get to the meetings. I can't wait to get to the next one. Uh, just as soon as this one's over, I'm going to be wanting to know where's the next one because I want to be there. I find strength. Uh, you want to know how to make it is gather together with his people. Want to find strength to run this race? Gather together with his people because there's something about them that you draw strength from. Something about them that we're going together. Uh, we're going as one people, not a divided people, not a separated people, but one people, one covering. Uh, what one, one body that's in the earth, and I'm certainly glad to be here and glad to be amongst this body of people. So I, I appreciate being in Orange tonight. And the miles, they're taxing on the body. Uh, they are. There's a sacrifice we have to make, but in the end, it'll be worth it all. It'll be worth it all. So I want to I wanna spend eternity with you. I do. I want to spend eternity with you. And uh, I, I want to I wanna see the Lord. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see him and, and be amongst him. But I'm glad what I can see in you of the Christ that's in the earth today. Uh, Jesus said when they, they kept talking about seeing the Father, he said, when you see me, you see the Father. Do you realize we're beginning to see Christ in his people today? As we begin to get closer to the Lord, we begin to see more and more who Christ really is. So I'm running this race all the way to the end. So good to be here. We flew to Houston and then we came over here with, with Brother Denny. <laughs> so good to be here tonight. We uh, we came to Houston. I talked to Brother Wright about coming down to Houston a couple weeks ago, and and he told me to come on down. And we'd be coming to Orange here tonight for this meeting, and I thought that's that's great. I look forward to being here. But until I walked up and opened the door and came inside, it wasn't a reality. But when I come inside and here's all my brothers and sisters, people that we're working together with, and I was thinking when Brother Kennedy was talking this evening, if it wasn't for this ministry, Brother Kennedy, I wouldn't be here. I owe debt to this ministry. Because where I came from, I didn't, I didn't know any of these truths I know today. I didn't know anything about order. I didn't know anything about how the Spirit of God is supposed to move on you. And you're supposed to listen and be sensitive. I'm trying to learn those things, but God's, God's doing the work. I'm thankful for this people. And um, I, mentioned, um, I mentioned at Houston how much I appreciate the live stream because we're out there way away from most of the rest of y'all. We're, we're, you know, Phoenix and, and our little assembly, we're 175 miles apart, but the nearest neighbors after that are like 400 miles away. So y'all can drive a couple hours and be in many different assemblies. But we can't, you know. But I was thinking as I watched the live stream and I, and, and we're learning. We're learning how to get together. We're, le we're learning how to think together, to work together. But I want to say I appreciate not only the ministry, but I want to say I appreciate the young people. <laughs> the young ministers coming up. You know, you can go anywhere in the country. You can go to any church. And when you walk away, what's in your mind is what were the young people like? And the young people in this body are an example. My daughter, my daughter, most of you know my daughter. In fact, I've been known for many years as Karin's father. Nobody knew I had a name. But, uh, but the rest of her siblings went out in the world. And she connected with some young people in this body. And she's still part of us today. <laughs> and I'm thankful for that. 
You see, none of us can do this by ourselves. We need one another. And we need from the youngest to the oldest, from the little children to the most elder of the ministry. We need every one of us. And as we work together, God's, God's strengthening us. He's building us. He's putting us together. And I think the last year has made a big difference. I know it has, it has in our little assembly. The last year has made a big difference. And, and I feel that God's starting to do some things that we haven't really seen before. We're starting to see a few little things. There are a few little things amongst our people in our group that hadn't been there before. I'm telling them, get ready, because we're not finished yet. God's in the process of finishing the work here, and we get to be a part of it. And I'm so thankful to be a part of it. Just be numbered with y'all. I'm so thankful. I appreciate Brother Isaac and welcoming us here. Um, I appreciate his work here in Orange and, and the rest and the way he goes around and supports everybody.